Hey y'all, this is Jocasta Lester. Um, generally, when there is a, um, a political thing that people are trying to prove on you, your day goes bad, depending on which people have something to prove. So, let's say you're you're ordinarily decent at something, but these people, they got, let's say you say, I love flagging. This whole day, they'll be trying to get you to say that you don't love it. <laughs> they do some of everything to make the job. That furthermore, if you like doing something, do it and love it and know you don't have to be bad at it. It's some people that will, um, they have, they their interests are expressed in the spirit. And when they act upon you, some of the people know it and they understand that they perform these different stunts in front of the people that don't understand it and don't believe it. They're very skeptical about it. But I'm telling you, it is true. They have a subtle way of wrecking your life by knowing what they are able to do in the spirit and knowing that others don't know anything about it. <laughs> so with that said, the mood of the house, the world hatred, people don't understand that the world hatred is not just the people. <laughs> the actual things that people pray for against you, the actual things that they can do to influence people who are influential in the Christian world against you are working against you. There are people that are pray against you in all types of ways. And depending on the mood of the house, they are willing to come near you and bring evil and calamity into your lives using the sentiments of the people that have come near you also. Okay. So with that said, I've watched these, these different spirits that jump into your body and whisper to you. I've noticed this about it. They'll get near you as people and as these talking spirits in your head. And when they talk, I'm telling you, let's say you see one plus one equals two on a whiteboard, like a dry erase. Well, when they start talking to you, <laughs> the equal sign disappears. <laughs> the plus sign disappears. You're like one, one, two. Okay, hold on, wait. <laughs> and you have to gather what it is. In other words, it skews not your real judgment, but sometimes some things become missing. It's like they took a bite out of your brain for a second. <laughs> so the only way, like not the only way, the way to get back to what you're doing is to focus more on what you're doing. And what they tend to try to prove is the um, non-necessity for the things that are otherwise not problematic in your lives. So let's say you have on some headphones, right? Well, you're just listening to your headphones. You could do your job just fine with your headphones on. But they want to prove that, no, you're not supposed to use your head. You know, they're geeks. They're nerds. It's what they tend to be. <laughs> but, no, you're not supposed to use your headphones at your job. <laughs> they really are hall monitors. There are some people that they try to beat down and make hall monitors, and there's them. <laughs> they're that. <laughs> so, you may look like one, but there are others who actually are. And, you know, you don't have no problem with those people. But sometimes they use those people against the people that they're trying to torment with taking away everything you like <laughs> so they put you they put those people in between themselves and you and you're like i don't want to beat up on the hall monitors but i hate this way but the hall monitors all have this no safety first <laughs> so they run after you you, in, you you of course become the bad guy because you say things like that you know <laughs> So repent for the kingdom of heaven is a hand. Have a blessed and marvelous day. You're not the popular person because you're not doing the same defense. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Sometimes it's not popular to be yourself as a Christian. It just isn't. But understand those things that God gave you to be, it's okay to be. And don't worry about what they feel about it. So I say all of that to say this. They'll be trying to get you to listen to them talk. And I'm like, no, because I have no need to talk to you for all the day until we're doing our job <laughs> and over and over again they'll try to hit you back with your way of doing things where you're like no i wasn't bothering you i'm over here i'll try to remove myself from all interaction they still try to find a way to try to force me to interact with them i said no so repent for the kingdom of heaven is a hand have a blessed and marvelous day i don't like being mean to any one group of people it's just it's one of those things where you're not gonna make me you're not gonna make me talk when i don't want to <laughs> you got it so and their way is to, they're forceful in that way but you don't have to comply. As long as you can fight that fight where you're not complying, fight that fight because you back these back these busters off of you. <laughs> so have a blessed and marvelous day. You guys take care. Oh, I keep trying to remember something, but you know, that, that brain biting thing is happening. It happens in subtle areas too where they don't have to say it. They just do stuff. <laughs> I, I can feel it. <laughs> so with that said, um, the point of it was like, for instance, in order to remove headphones from you at work, They'll create all the perfect storm around you to make it seem like it's wrong for you to have them on. When no, you can have them on. But they'll do all types of weird spiritual stuff in Michigas. When at the end of the day, they're trying to regulate something on your body using evil. And familiars would never be right. You got it? So have a blessed and marvelous day. They can get out of your body. They'll distract you, do all types of things. And use familiars to make you think 
that something's, you know, you're distracting, but really the familiars were distracting you, not your headphones. You got it. So, take care.